Welcome back to the Keaton Knife Shop. On this channel, my goal is to document my knife making journey and add any knowledge that I have about the craft to the community. If that sounds like something you'd want to see more of, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking this button in your bottom right hand corner. Today we're going to be talking about creating a stone wash finish on your custom knives. A stone wash finish is one that I use frequently and I really like its durability and its look. For working knives and kydex sheaths, I find it doesn't show wear and scratches as readily. By the end of this video, you will be able to effortlessly stonewash your own knives. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are as follows. First you'll need some ferric chloride. You can order a bottle of this off of Amazon for around 7 bucks. You'll need a container to store your ferric chloride in. I'm using an old orange juice container, but many people use a length of PVC pipe with end caps on it. You'll need some rocks or other type of tumbler media and a container to put them in that is large enough to fit your entire blade. Lastly, for good measure, you'll need some baking soda and some steel wool. Now let's go over preparation. We're going to be stonewashing a blade that has already been ground, heat treated, and you've done your finished sanding work. Good practice is to get the blade around the 320 grit finish. I've also had good success with a 220 grit finish, but I find 320 grit finishes leave less room for error. Make sure that you've etched on your touch mark as well. If I'm stone washing a blade, I'll etch my touch mark exclusively on DC power, since I'm trying to get a deep etch and not necessarily a dark etch, which you'll get with AC power etching. After your blade is etched and sanded, go ahead and wipe it down with alcohol to make sure it's nice and clean. The next step is execution. Use a solution that is 50-50 ferric chloride and water. Use a piece of wire to hold the blade on the outside of the container and submerge the entire blade into the etchant for about 8 to 10 minutes. Next, take the blade out and start scrubbing it down with steel wool. Continue doing this until you've gotten all the black crud off of the blade. Also, neutralize the acid with baking soda during this step. If you want a darker etch, go ahead and repeat the previous steps. If not, we're off to the tumbler. If you have a nice tumbler, great. If not, you can use an old bucket with rocks in it. This step is pretty straightforward. Your mileage is going to vary based on your media and your shaking style. Take your acid washed blade and spray it down with WD-40 or something similar. Then throw it in the bucket with your media and get to shaking. I found good results by shaking aggressively for around 4 minutes. This can obviously be done in a tumbler as well, but the shaking method doesn't really take that long. And then voila, you have a stone wash finish. There's not much to it, it's not an exact science. You'll get a different pattern just about every time you try it. The next step is to clean the blade very well and then attach your handles and finish out your knife. I generally bring the spine of the knife to a satin finish, just like the knife seen here. If stone washing is a finish you use on your knives, let me know about it below in the comments. Is there anything you do differently? Why do you like the stone wash finish? I'd love to hear your experience. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll have more fun how-tos and knife builds posted in the future. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.